Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Happy Friday, Eastern Iowa. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Danny Cassidy. Well, for today, there are there is a chance rather of some isolated showers and storms, especially through the late morning and early afternoon hours. Should wrap up by about 2 to 3 o'clock and should be partly cloudy for the rest of the day. Tonight into tomorrow, we could see some showers and storms, and it is likely could be some heavy rainfall at times and it could be strong at times. And then through the day tomorrow, could see some other showers through the afternoon hours. By Sunday, though, it is quite cool and partly cloudy as temperatures return to the upper 70s. Along with the heat today, we do see the humidity. For today, dew points should be in the mid 60s. Again, it's going to be a little sticky out there, but tomorrow it's going to be near 70. It's going to be very uncomfortable out there, especially if you're headed to Sturgis Falls. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a very comfortable day. Sunday should be a beautiful day. However, dew points, this is almost going off the grid. It's going to be around 50, very comfortable. That spectacular range. And with temperatures in the upper 70s, it's going to feel more like a mid-spring day. And the dew points are going to stay low through the start of next week. So it's almost there if you like that comfortable weather. We just have to get through these next two days. Now, through the overnight into tomorrow morning, this is the timing of the severe weather. Midwest-wide, we do have some elevated risks up near Minnesota and North Dakota. And then off to the west in western Iowa and central Iowa, there is that level 2 risk. However, for all of us here in eastern Iowa, we have a level 1 risk. Main threats are large hail and damaging wind gusts. Though the biggest threat is going to be some localized heavy rainfall. Could see up to an inch in some spots. It depends on how long these strong storms last off to the west. If they can maintain their strength overnight, they could linger into eastern Iowa. So keep an eye on that tonight into the overnight. Now here's a timestamp for the rest of the day. So we do have some showers and storms. And this is underestimating it a little bit. It's a little bit bigger. So you can see there's, there should be more storms, showers and storms here. They'll make its way eastward and they're starting to weaken as they move eastward into eastern Iowa. They could linger a little bit for some showers for your early morning commute. Nothing heavy expected, but you could see a couple of lightning strikes or some storms. Then by about the afternoon hours, 2 or 3 o'clock, it should clear out to partly cloudy and mostly cloudy skies. And we could see a little bit of a lingering shower or two, but nothing severe expected through the day today. However, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning by about 3 o'clock, you see some of these heavier showers. These are where the strong storms are coming from. And since the storms are coming late in the overnight, they're not expected to maintain its strength. However, if they do maintain it, we could see some of those severe weather risks. By about 7, we continue to see it through the entirety of eastern Iowa, this long band through the state, and then it should move out by about 9 or 10 o'clock and make way for partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Then through the day on Saturday, we could see some pop-up showers here and there, but the main timing and the main threat is during those late overnight hours and morning hours. So just be weather aware if you are sleeping that you could see some severe weather in the overnight. Through Sunday, the rain potential is anywhere from a half inch to an inch, and we are in a drought, especially for our southern regions, so this is good for some of that relief. However, these far southern counties like Keokuk, they only see about maybe a quarter of an inch, and unfortunately, they need it the most. And they just won't get enough for these next two days. For today, high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Could see an isolated storm or two through the early afternoon hours, otherwise partly cloudy. For tonight, Low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, and shower storms are likely after midnight. Again, around that 2 to 3 o'clock hour, could see some strong storms at times. City by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. After Saturday, we do cool down quite a bit with those low dew points and those upper 70 temperatures for high. It's going to be quite nice for the end of your weekend. Through the start of next week, we continue to stay dry with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. But the heat does return by Wednesday with highs in the upper 80s and could see a 90s by Thursday. And then late next week, we see off and on chances of showers and storms.